YouTube, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you three great tools to capture ideas and to actually help you with your thinking. In the last video, I went through my note-taking workflow. The code method featured in Tiago Forte's new book, Building a Second Brain, outlines a workflow for capturing, organizing, distilling, and finally extracting your knowledge. In today's video, we'll be focusing on how to capture information and actually use that information for the later processes. There are a ton of ways on how to capture information from the web, but most of what is captured is just stowed away and not really used. I'll show you three cool tools that I use to capture the information and then use those ideas to building my second brain. Let's jump right in. The first tool I've been using is the Save to Notion Chrome extension. If you use Notion, by the way, there are a million different reasons why you should be using Notion. You can clip entire pages into your Notion with just a few clicks. What's great about the Chrome extension is that you can save the content into a specific workspace in Notion and then further customize uh, properties for that clip, such as custom page titles, workflow status, even cover images. Once you have saved the page in a Notion database, you can then go ahead and highlight text from the page, right click and add a highlight, and it will automatically export the highlight to the specified page in Notion. This provides a great frictionless way to gather highlights from the web content and organize them automatically in your Notion database. Another tool I've recently come across on Shuomi's YouTube channel, which is a great resource for all things knowledge work, by the way, link in the description, is Napkin. Napkin is a cool new web app that allows for clipping text from a website and importing it directly into a virtual board of notes. These notes are then connected using AI generated tags. Instead of just clipping and forgetting, Napkin organizes different notes according to their content by auto generating tags from the text. It then groups these notes into clusters that use similar tags. Let's say you've been busy reading through articles. Just highlight the text you want to import, right click and then send to Napkin. These clips will automatically show up in your Napkin app. You can also write directly into the notes in Napkin web app. Napkin will extract the keywords and you can confirm or remove any tags in the inbox. And when you're reviewing your notes, Napkin will pull up similar notes, which will help you creating new associations and ideas. We can then browse through the notes and create new ideas for our second brain. I've noticed that Napkin makes going through your clips much more intuitive and even fun at times. It's like I'm staring at a bunch of notes on a table and I'm able to really think about the connections between these ideas. Napkin have made it easy to collect thoughts into what they call stacks. Just drag and drop notes into the sidebar on the right, organize them freely into chapters for a book idea or an outline for a blog, for example. I use this space when creating associations between notes and organizing my thoughts. Napkin also have a mobile app where you can copy paste or write your ideas directly into the app. The app itself does not provide a view of the virtual board and thus you can't go through the notes on your phone. Napkin argue that the view of the board is best viewed on the desktop screen and I understand why, but I really hope they eventually figure out a way of displaying the notes on a mobile device so I can go through them while commuting, for example. Napkin is currently in beta and if you want early access, they have a $10 monthly subscription. They currently have a 30 day free trial. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description. Last but not least is the evergreen note taking app for Apple OS users, Apple Notes. I often find myself thinking through ideas while listening to podcasts or audiobooks on the go. Apple Notes is great for just that. Pull out your phone and write a quick note. It supports voice dictation and the swiping keyboard is great to quickly get down any thoughts. On Mac OS, Apple Notes has a quick note feature where when you place your mouse on the bottom right corner and click, a new quick note pops up. This is a great feature if you're watching a seminar or YouTube video and want to make notes without any friction of opening up the notes app and finding the right folder and so on. The quick note pop-up stays overlaid on the screen, which I really like as it helps with writing notes while watching on another window. Maybe the biggest challenge with Apple Notes when comparing with the other two tools is when it comes to organizing your notes for further processing. Most of the time, my notes get buried in the note pile and it sometimes feels overwhelming going through your notes. That said, when it comes to capturing, you want to be able to capture your notes whenever and wherever you are. 
And that's it for my three favorite tools for capturing ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like, subscribe uh, for more content like this in the future. Thanks guys and see you later.